Hello guys, welcome back to Forja Gaming. I am your host Forja. So in this video, we are gonna learn how to set up Frida in Knox Simulator. So to set up Frida, first we are gonna need to download these files. These files will be available in my Discord server. So too many people ask uh, where are the files, where are the files. I have said it many times. There is a channel called hashtag files links. Okay, in that channel, every files and things are available. So let's continue to the video. So first you have to install uh, 7-zip and python. Make sure to check that checkbox I checked add to path. Okay. Don't skip any part of this video because every single part is very important. Okay. So don't skip the video. And after installing the python do this do put this command pip install minus r requirements.txt. After that wait for a few seconds. Okay. It will install some dependencies. Okay. So after installing the dependencies, you have to do is uh, install Nox. So while installing Nox, uh, make sure uh, sometimes it will get stuck or something. So make sure you turn off your antivirus and then install. Uh, no, uh, if you didn't turn off the antivirus, no problem. It will take too much time, but it will install. Okay. So all the files link will be in the description. Uh, sorry, Discord server. Okay. Uh, this video is uh, recorded separately after making the video so it will be here and there so don't worry guys uh, I will edit it correctly okay so while setting up the Nox uh, I have to say you something that uh, in the next videos what should I do I, I am thinking about uh, making uh, tutorials on modding Android apps or uh, do you want to know about uh, more about Frida only like uh, SL pinning, bypassing emulator, bypassing the root? You should know about that, or uh, I should make an videos on tutorials like uh, Android tutorials. You say me, okay? So it is asking for me to restart the Nox, uh, restart the PC. So I will restart and meet you in few seconds, okay? So here you go, my PC is restarted. Uh, it will not ask for everyone for me it asked if it asked to you you should restart okay no problem now the Nox has been started successfully you can see uh, the first boot will take too much time don't worry uh, no problems okay so here you go so the Nox simulator is loaded fully now go to the settings general tab and enable root make sure if it is in hindi change it to english okay now save settings and restart set restart the emulator so after restarting uh, there is a file called frida so you have to push it to the nox emulator i will show you how okay first we will root the nox emulator using uh, magisk uh, root because uh, we have to set up things right uh, in the next video i will show you how to bypass the root using frida uh, next video will be very uh, short okay not that much long uh, don't worry guys i will make sure you have everything set up so wait for it to open here remember choice forever allow and then it will close automatically if it did not close automatically close the app once and then reopen the magisk magisk delta and after reopening it uh, it will say install press on that don't press the second install it will be a problem for you uh, just press install a direct install and press the next button and it will ask for reboot before that we have to do some things don't uh, reboot directly go to the settings go to general and disable the root in the emulator settings and restart okay so here we have successfully rooted our emulator and uh, now we can do uh, things like uh, installing modules and too many people are uh, asking me in um, in my discord like uh, why do the Zygis modules are incompatible? Why are this uh, like that? So I'll uh, say you why. Because uh, 
these are emulators uh, emulators are made for x86 architecture but uh, android is different android is our um, arm architecture okay so both are different architectures uh, the modders who create the modes ask them to make it on emulators too okay if they made it it will work correctly actually okay don't get a mistake uh, the zygis modules are for android okay so now open the path file of uh, nox simulator and make sure make sure you run this command above that shows whether uh, what architecture is your nox simulator so i have given a nox setup so don't use your own nox in the computer use this setup nox and make sure you run this it should show x86 64 okay and now put in command nox uh, nox adb push and uh, dr drag and drop the file okay drag and drop the file and press enter sorry we have to give a where should it go so slash data slash temp slash sorry slash data slash local slash temp and if you give enter it will install to, uh, to the path where we have to put it uh, the frida file okay the frida server file so if we go to if we go to the adb shell we get uh, our android sh uh, shell permissions and we change our directory to the directory where we have pushed the file frida server file and we will first give it permissions to executable ch mode 777 and we will give permission to run it okay ch mode 777 and the file name so it will make it an executable so it has been made as an executable now just run it like put the dot slash and then run it okay just press enter and if it starts blinking don't worry it is running the server is running up and now let's test it out whether it is running or not correctly just press cmd and frida type in frida ps frida ps minus uai if you type this uh, if you type this uh, it will show all the lists of the uh, apps that is present in your emulator as you can see here it is showing every single app that is present in your emulator so this is the this is it for the video uh, please uh, say me below that what should i do next so i am too confused on the next topic so you have to clarify it to me uh, in the comment section i will also put a poll today in the community post please vote that po poll okay don't miss out please 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 i'll ask again and again don't miss out and please uh, suggest me the next videos uh, i have too many videos in my mind so i am totally confused right now so that is it for this video uh, we'll meet in the next video until then Tata, bye bye, thanks for watching, see you guys.